Sorry, I was so nervous. One is silenced with another voice. Organ donors have become the lifeline of our successes. Well, there is something else. I'm not following. In my office. I can't wait to read the headlines. Another miracle performed by the almighty Jack. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> no, I couldn't have done it without my trusted little elves. I wanted to be the first to tell you that after two years of evaluation, we have decided that one of our patients qualifies for a larynx transplant. She suffered a collision about three years ago, damaged her larynx and her trachea, lost all vocal ability, but she can still swallow. Can I access her file? When's the final diagnosis? Patient Sonia, we still have to find a donor first. But she's at the top of the list. And voice boxes, they're not in high demand. You are leading on this. Me? No one else is qualified. It's for real, Sonia. I can finally give you what you deserve. Me? Mm-hmm. I don't think I'm ready. Well, I'm the one who determines that. Mom, you actually sound like really excited that I just got laid off. Beatrice, it's a blessing. I warned you about teaching. Yeah, I know. You said you were going to spend more money on my education than I'll ever make teaching. Hey, don't forget your meeting with Mr. Dowtree. Mom, you know, I'm really busy right now. Listen, Beatrice, if you want my advice, I wouldn't blow this one off. Mom, I told you. I want to I wanna go away. I want to travel. I think it would be really good for me. It's not an open-ended offer. You'll regret this later on, believe me. You know, before you get married and have kids. Mom, you are so far ahead of yourself right now, it's not even funny. Okay, okay. Beatrice, the next logical step is to work for me. Then you can take all the vacations you want. I don't want to work for you. And I'm not like you. I don't need to stay in that kind of vacation. I don't have to stay at five-star resorts. Beatrice. Are you running off with a stranger? I told you a man can ruin your credit in just a matter of days. Mom, it's not like I'm going to Vegas. Are you coming to this interview? I gotta go. Bye. So, there's something else. So, Spill. We found one. Now? Yeah, we're just waiting for a donor. Dream shot. How much midnight oil have you been burning for this? Enough for the environmentalists to hate me. My hatred is mixed with pride. <laughs> How y'all girls doing? What, am I, am I interrupting something? No, just, you know, having some girl time. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. What is girl time anyway? Two girls talking to each other alone. Oh, I see. What were y'all talking about? You know, trying to make, um, trying to find an Indian guy for her. Indian guy. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you two girls are Indian? <laughs> yeah. Very good looking ladies. Very good looking ladies. Absolutely. Thank you. I got a friend of mine's Indian back in my hometown, back in Kentucky. Okay. Yeah. Name's DJ. Works at 7 Eleven. 7 Eleven? 7 Eleven. A lot of us do. <laughs> <laughs> Except her. You know who she is? No. She's a top surgeon of the city. Okay. So if you were hinting that you want her to be with a guy from 7 Eleven, that's like 
Such a joke. <laughs> oh no, nah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. DJ, he's he's about sixty years old. I don't think he'd, he'd be uh, in y'all's league at all. Yeah, no. Uh, okay. But he, uh, Why'd you mention him? <laughs> he's the only Indian guy I know. Okay. I'll tell you another story. Uh, a friend of mine, he's Australian. He uh, he would do these. He would do these Indian personations. He would say, uh, he would say, do you like some tea? Put it in a pot. Make it hot. Hot pot tea. That, it's really good. It, it sounds just like my dad, yeah. Does it really? Yeah, he could totally be a family member. No, nah, but my, my friend, he, he, he's crazier than hell, but, but he would always go and he said, you teach him with this and you do that and you're very good. Now you go, please go, get out of my store. But DJ was cool though, he was cool. <laughs> sounds like a cool guy. He sure was. Yeah. Cooked a hell of a mean curry too. That's enough entertainment for the evening. Go yeah, ahead and go. Yeah. You have a good night. Let's go. Y'all do the same. Mm hmm <sighs> Can't believe I was talking to seeing this fresh off the boat deep. <laughs> Marriage.com? Nothing gonna make a divorce.com. My mom set it up. Maybe we should ship her back to India where she belongs. Uh, it looks like someone needs a quick green card. Imagine Auntie hunched over the computer banging away at the keys. A lot of people do take this website seriously. It's match.com for brown people. It's all the same thing. I know a few people that got married through this. I mean, you better get your sari ready. You're just lucky. Your parents are in India. My mom has given up on me. I wish my mom would give up on me. Why don't you just refuse to go? <sighs> Not an option, Miss America. At least do a background check. What's the point? He sure is an ugly dude if you can't even put one profile picture up. What's the point of trying to please your mom if you know it's already failed? Please don't tell me that you actually think one of these guys are the one. Unlike you, some of us still have a chance. You think you have a chance online? I've never met a bitch as cynical as you are. Why does it have to be an Indian guy anyway? Try feeding curry masala to a white dude twice a day. The poor man would die. <laughs> OK, fine. I don't believe in Mr. Perfect, but someone's got to be able to handle you. It's called settling. Settling isn't in your blood. Have you met my parents? We're not our parents. Love is more complicated than med school. You gotta give it a few tries. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Phil. Oh my God, it's the 21st century. Even Indian men have progressed. You really think so? I know so. <laughs> Solid computer. Oh, there's your Mr. Perfect. Did you forget about the interview? Remind me? Well, the third one already had them buzzing. And the fourth one has created quite a stir. Oh, reporters make me nauseous. Look, what I told you yesterday, could you just keep that to yourself? Yeah, but I thought it was definitely on. It is. I just don't want to let the press in on it. Dad? Your dad had his stroke. Please come home. I'm on my way. Uh, Miriam, can you book me the next available flight to Mumbai? I'm on it. Is there a problem? Whatever. I didn't know airports could be so frightening. Sonia, you're the strongest person I know. Five years. I can't believe I let it get so long. Sonia, this is no time for self inflicted guilt trips. You're seeing them now when it matters. That's my flight, Sim. I gotta go. Call me when you get there. I love you. I love you too. Call you soon.
How far will this get me? That? We'll get you to Nashville. What's your cheapest flight overseas? Flight to Beijing, China, 1,500. Cheaper than that. Brazil, 1,100. Cheaper. There's currently a good deal on flights to Mumbai, India. India? What about Europe? All booked. Shit. Ma'am, there are customers waiting. All right, I'll take it. How much? $467.97. It's round trip, right? One way, ma'am. I'll take it. I'll reserve your ticket. You'll need a visa to go to India. A visa? That's all my savings. Mm. Have you ever been to India, ma'am? No, why? It's quite a different place. Well, I'm sure I'll love it. It'll get me out of here. May I make a suggestion? Bring your own toilet paper. Next. Ooh. Two tickets for Dubai, please. Please, please. My apologies if I'm late. You didn't. I came early. You're too nervous. You mean generous? And that too. How did you recognize me? Your profile picture. How could I forget? Yes, and you look exactly like your picture. Why wouldn't I? Not all Indian matrimonial girls are as pretty in person as you are. You seem to have a lot of experience with the website. I'd like to have more experiences with you. I just want to let you know, my mom created that profile for me. I don't believe in blind dates. You are very pretty. Thank you. Even more beautiful than Aishwarya Rai. Wow. And you look better than Katrina Cave. OK. So how long have you been in the US? Six months. So you're a citizen already? I have a green card if that's what you're worried about. You think you'll be able to blend into this culture? Sure. Do you know what my name Prem means? Kind of. Prem means love. Do you believe in love at first sight? I like to do a double take just to be sure. I think we are made for each other. If we're going to have this conversation, you have to keep your hands to yourself. Have you heard of the term personal space yet? You're kind of in mind right now. You smell beautiful. Sniff me one more time! Okay, okay. I, I keep here. I keep here. I came here to please my mom. Let's get over with the formality. I can do anything for you, my love. You don't even know me. Touch my heart. Feel my heart. That's it. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? Doing well. All right. I mean, <laughs> how's dad? He's okay, Sonia. He's stable enough to return home on bed rest? Sonia, he's fine. Really. How can you say that? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Roger. What's wrong? Sonia, I haven't seen you in five years. I barely even know what to say to you. I... Let's just, let's just get home. We'll see. Oh, so nice to see you. 
<sighs> what the hell is going on? Hey, Bhagwan, is that any way to treat your father? Why aren't you in bed? In bed? Yeah, why, why aren't you more ill? Ill? <laughs> the stroke. <laughs> yeah, oh, the yes, stroke. Uh, 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 Betty, do not worry. I, I haven't had one in a year. I'm fine. A year? I'm going to make some tea and warm up a samosa for you. We'll have a family meal tonight. Uh, that's a wonderful idea. <sighs> oh, but Betty, have you seen this uh, the new Bollywood movie? Uh, one with that the new actor. Uh, oh, God, what is his name? <laughs> Ah, oh, that handsome looking boy. Oh, I can never remember his name. Huh? Anyway, we'll watch the movie together after dinner, huh? Yeah, All right. okay, yeah, just hold up, Daddy, hold up. He had a stroke a year ago? Sonia, not during dinner. Uh, why don't you help me set the table? Mom, you nearly gave me a stroke when you called the hospital. Do you still drink soda? Sprite, your favorite. I'm gonna go and get some. You lied to me. How else would I get you here? Why now? Why not a year ago when it actually happened? You were performing a number two surgery. I didn't want to distract or bother you. Bother me? He's my father. How could you keep this information away from me and then use it to get me over here a year later? That was the only thing I could think of to get you here. Oh. Mom, what's this rule with everyone has to be at the table before we start eating? Can we start? We are starting. Okay. For what? Why did you really have me come here? Sonia, is your family not enough? Mom, can you just tell her? Mom? Mom and Dad want you to finally get married. Rajan, can I please have a meal in peace? Hmm? Yes, Dad. All right. Sonia, you're leaving? I'm going to my bedroom. Mom. You're happy now? Sonia, I wasn't going to tell you until tomorrow. I was going to give you a night to rest. Go. Thanks, Mom. Don't get fooled by your father's happy face. He is sick. Just because it happened a year ago. Don't you think I know that? And don't forget who sent you to the medical school in the US. We could have easily arranged a marriage for you. Yeah, and you would have loved that. We both agreed to send you to medical school. I supported it as much as he did. Sonia, we are so proud of you. But your dad, he's not the same since the stroke. Every day I dread for it to happen again. He, he had a good life. And the only thing left is to see you find a good man who will love you and support you. Don't you see I can take care of myself? <laughs> Beta, it's not about the money. Love, marriage, it's something different. You know when you experience it. Your dad, he wants you to find your husband. And so do I, before we both die. Oh, God. <sighs> promise me. Promise me, Beta. You'll try. <laughs> really try while you're here, for your dad's sake. Fine. I'll try. I'll try. OK. Excellent. Hey, tomorrow night is your first date. You'll wear that nice green chiffon sari. 8 o'clock. Be ready. <laughs> Where do you find these guys? Indian matrimonial site. Moron. <sighs> Namaskaram. Namaste. How are you? Hmm. Um, please, come take a seat. Huh. Hope the drive wasn't too long for you. No, 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 I enjoyed it. You live in a very scenic part of town. Thank you, it's home to me. Well, shall we get started then? Uh, sure. I want to tell you the conditions for marriage. Oh, 
Yeah, I would love to hear your conditions. Hmm. You cannot drink, you cannot smoke, you cannot eat meat. Oh, sorry, I wasn't ready for this. Do you cook? Sometimes. Hmm. I want a wife who can cook South Indian dishes. See, I am a rasam and sambar person. You are vegetarian. Okay, can we just step away from the kitchen for a second? Mm -hmm. You cannot have any male friends. I have heard American married women have boyfriends. And where did you hear that? I watch a lot of Hollywood films. Uh, yeah, that would make one very knowledgeable. Can I work? Because I do have male colleagues. Yes, there is no problem with that. Actually, I will need you to work. But no friendships with male colleagues. Perfect, yeah. So. Shall we set a date? Huh. Shall we discuss dowry now or leave it for the parents to discuss? Hell, why don't we just lay it out all on the table while the chai's still hot? You didn't serve me any chai. Okay. 50,000 a year times 14 years is about... Seriously? Chit, 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 do not disturb. Just start all over again. Okay, 50 multiplies 14 equals about 7 lakh plus 8 lakh equals 1 plus 2 times 4 into 8 lakh, 15 lakh plus house and cash, about 50 lakh cash only. I've spent over 50 lakh on education only, not counting food and clothing. You should thank your parents for that. Oh, I have had lots of proposals. Oh. One family offered a house in Kolaba, 50 lakh rupees, and a car. Oh, wow. Sounds like a steal. Why don't you go for that one? Well, why don't you make an offer? Let's see. A beach house, a couple million dollars. Hell, I'll throw in a private jet for you. Is that sufficient? Funny. I don't like funny. My calculations are approximate. I have exact figures if your parents need to see. Oh, awesome. Hmm. I'll make sure to frame this. How quickly can I get a green card? Soon, very soon. Now, I want to come to America very quickly. Oh. I cannot wait too long. Don't you worry. What are you doing? Leaving? No. Yes, yes. Don't you worry. We'll um, FedEx you. You'll make it in three business days. Oh, you're very petty. Kind of. I think Bungie started packing already. Shut up. Grab your keys. Jeez. Fine. But it's going to cost you. Uh, let's use it back to. You say that in a stomach full of curry. Next time, medium spicy. Medium spicy. Yes. Hey, Mom. Did you land? Made in China? Yeah, America. Huh? No, I crashed. Beatrice, I did not suffer 24 miserable hours of labor to lose you to some, some slum-raised rapist truck driver. Honey, tell me you're in a cab you called for through a Marriott. I'm not stupid. You're not in Ecuador. Do you remember Ecuador? Yeah, Mom, we stayed in a five-star hotel. Okay, this is your last chance. Really? Baby, come home. Work for me. And make whatever life you want for yourself the right way. Mom, I gotta go, okay? I, I love you. I'll, I'll eat Maya, okay? Bye. I can't take this heat anymore. Oh, uh, sorry, I can't. Help! 
Madam, I cannot take this credit card. You're probably like the only shop in the world that doesn't accept credit cards, traveler's checks, or dollars. Madam, owner says only rupees, no dollars. What am I supposed to do? Can I speak to the owner? He's not here. Can you go get him? But close this place down? He'll fire me if I do that. You're losing good American dollars. I mean, what's wrong with you? Go. Excuse me, I just exchanged dollars. Can I help you? Yes, please. Wait, didn't I see you at the airport? Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, hi, my name is Sonia. I'm Beatrice. Nice to meet you. You too. Um, how much is it? Oh god, not that calculator again. Okay, now I have to do it again. 982 rupees, madam. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay, okay, I don't have any change. I'm going to go to the store next door. I'm going to get change. Oh, I thought you couldn't leave the store. It's fine, just keep the change, it's okay. No, madam, I, he, he'll fire me if I keep tips. Then definitely keep the change. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you're up for it, there's a bar nearby. Uh, it hurts pretty good. Yeah, let's do it. I'd love to get a drink. Perfect, perfect, let's go. So, what are you doing in India? Escaping. From? Uh, I don't know. My parents? Mine are trying to sell me off to the highest bidder. And you're gonna let them? I gotta pay off my med school debt and matrimonial. Oh, you must be in my mom's Rolodex. Impressive. <laughs> you're not a gyno, are you? Because I have this most amazing pill. It's a low estrogen and it makes it like, I can't even explain you, it's crazy. Oh my God, <laughs> I totally sound like my mom. Uh, um, overbearing parents exist in every culture, so. I literally had to get on a plane to get away from her. She wanted me to work for her, I, I just can't. Wow, well you're brave. So, are you just traveling then? No, I'm, I'm running. I'm running from home. I literally was born in the same town and never left it. And I finally had enough courage to, to leave. I just, I don't know why I didn't do it a long time ago. So you chose India? No. <laughs> India chose me via cheap lights. Mumbai, India. <laughs> so what are you gonna do after your stay here? I don't know. I guess go back to teaching. I, it's the only thing I know how to do. And I just want to be in a school where the kids appreciate me and they're not all too stoned to not care. Or, I love what I do. You know, I, I really do. I want to affect the kids and, and help everyone and, and be happy. Well, my brother's friend, Baramjeet, he's a teacher exchange program coordinator, something like that. Um, and they're always looking for great teachers, so. Oh my God, I would love that, but the chances for me to get a job teaching here in India is probably like never gonna happen. <laughs> but I'm just can be very persistent, so. <laughs> what can I get you ladies? Mm. How about a tandoori Brad Pitt? <laughs> <laughs> They're fresh for the picking. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> My name is Kavi. Um, can I start you up with a local cocktail? Ah, oh, local. Cool. I usually have a gin and tonic after a stressful day, but... Okay. <laughs> um, what is it called? It's called Rat Ki Bat. Rat takes bath. Rat Ki Bat. Rat Ki Bat. Rat in a bath. It means dark of the night. Yes. Mmm. Well, it's better than anything I've had here so far. <laughs> uh, it's time for my performance. Um, Raja will take care of you. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> She's always on the run. 
She's on the run. Close of day, fades away the sun slowly. She takes on the town so boldly. She's always on the run. She's on the run. So far away we go. There's no more reason to run. It's only me. It's only you. You've gotta do what you've gotta do. Trouble will find you, honey. In time you'll find it, honey. There's no more reason to be running. Just have a chill. <laughs> Not by choice. Um, bartending brings the bucks and um, singing makes it worth it. But I'm Beatrice and this is my friend Sonia. Hi, She's Sonia. from LA. Hi. And um, she can use a little distraction. From what? Her well endowed Indian suitors compliments <laughs> via her parents. The ills of being Indian. Um, Indian strong roots that drag you down also help you stand against the storms of life. I never thought of it like that. <laughs> Karma aside, you know, you learn your strengths through your struggles. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is deep shit. <laughs> Do you want to have dinner with us? Oh. I'd love to, but I, but I can't. I have the family thing to go to. Oh, it's okay. I mean, I gotta go too, no, so it's No, fine. no, you can, you can have my number, if you like. <laughs> have a good night. Bye. She'll call you. <laughs> ha. Oh. Oh, excuse me, there's just one second. I have to take this. Hello? Do I know you? I see an abundance of prosperity in your future. Yeah, it's spilling all over me. Give me your hand. Who are you? My name is Hari. They call me the future teller. You mean fortune teller? That too. What's your name? I am Beatrice. Where are you from, if I may ask? California. The land of honey and beauty. And of the home and the free. <laughs> How much do you charge? Uh, no money. My religion forbids me to charge money, but dips are welcome. You know, dip, especially dips in dollars. 10, 20, 50, 100, anything. Well, what if I don't want to pay? No worries. You pay in kind. Ah. Your countrymen don't appreciate you. You are destined to marry a man from a country far from your home. Down under? Uh, no. Way up. The North Pole? Uh, an exotic place. Brazil. I love Portuguese men. They have elephants there. Africa? I've always wanted to go on a safari. No, not Africa. You'll marry a man from one of the ancient civilizations. Egypt. They worship cows there. I love steak. I think we can develop a terrific bond. I don't do bonds. Transactions only. Oh, I give you love, you give it back. Is that not transactional too? <laughs> we gotta go. Don't go. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. See you later.
हे भगवान प्लीज इंस्टॉल सम सेंस इन माई हजबेंड एंड डॉटर ऑल आई वॉन्ट इज अ गुड हजबेंड फॉर सोनिया Am I the only one concerned about our daughter's future? <laughs> What am I supposed to do? Tie her to a chair and force her to take the seventh with us? You spoiled her. She would have moved back from the US with us, but you let her decide. Okay, okay. What, what, what is that you want to do, huh? Drag her to the mandap with anyone that you like? This is our daughter's future. She needs a nice Indian boy so she can live happily ever after. I also want her to marry a nice Indian boy. But what if she doesn't like Indian boys? You will have a daughter, marry a white boy, who will sit on the couch, drink beer, and watch football all day. Then we'll watch the games together. What if she marries a black girl? I will be combing my grandchildren's hair all day. You putting beads in my granddaughter's hair? I love that. Hmm. What if she marries a Chinese guy? Instead hmm. of English, they will be speaking Chinglish. Chong 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 all day long. They will be talking chong 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 all day long at the same time cooking chow mein. Yummy, good for my stomach. You put that in. All right. What if she marries a Hispanic guy? He'll be checking out women on every corner. Come and start saying, "Hey, baby, are you doing?" He, he can do that all he likes, as long as he didn't do that to you, because you are my baby. Yeah, yeah. What you got? <laughs> you are such a racist. You can call me Sid. That is the name I use with all my clients. This is a very unusual place to meet. Well, uh, I bring all my uh, very important people here, VIP clients, and you, my lucky lady, are just one such lucky person. In fact, you and I have talked from this very spot many a time. Really? Let me guess. Other lives. <laughs> you don't remember this golden voice? Hello, and welcome to American Express. How can I provide you most excellent service? <laughs> no, I don't ever recall talking to you. I am not paying interest for one day late. No, you and I have talked many a time whenever you have called your credit card company at night. So you answer phones here in the call center? Well, I am the uh, chief executive operating officer. So you have an executive position here. But of course, all the big companies hire me for my voice. You know, I work for American Express, Visa, Mastercard. Yeah, no, you actually saved me from paying interest on my credit card. That's right, exactly three hundred twenty-three dollars and sixty-seven cents. In fact, you know, I am quite fond of this uh, magic number here. What is this? You don't recognize that? Take out your American Express card. Those 16 digits will match up here exactly. You memorize my credit card number? <laughs> It's nice, huh? This is pretty impressive, I realize. But uh, let me show you this. This will sure to be impress. You might recognize that one too. Oh no. My social security? <laughs> I know it's pretty amazing, but uh, I know a lot more about you than even you may know about yourself. I've gazed through your monthly itemized statements and learned so much about you, stalker. <laughs> it's just a photographic memory, but uh, honestly, I've learned so much about your likes and your dislikes. For instance, I know you like to go to Starbucks every morning at 8:15 a.m. and buy a, a double mocha latte for three dollars sixty-five cents. Outrageous prices, I tell you, and. I know what kind of clothing you like, what kind of lingerie. For instance, you you got a Vicky Secret and you got the 32 double D bra with a black lace and a red trim. <laughs> okay, you are creeping me out. I, this is an invasion of privacy. Do you understand what that means? Look, nothing turns me on better than a high credit score. You know, you bought your condo at the right time. All calls are kept confidential, man. Confidential, my foot. I'm reporting you. Look, I was hoping that you know we would get married here. No, what? No, no marriage. Well, that is most unfortunate. Let's call Kavi. He seems in here. Beatrice, I already have my mother throwing men at me. I don't need you to encourage her. Is this all about your mother? I don't know. You know, sometimes in life, you don't always get the opportunity to take a risk. What's so special about Kavi? At least you like him. I do not. Yes, you do. <laughs> I saw the sparks. That is so confusing. What the hell am I going to tell him anyway? Don't worry, I will. Well, here comes your perfect match. I'll leave the two of you alone. Hello. Where are all the students? You 
will see. Come on. How can it be so quiet? We're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Beatrice. Our children need American perspective. And I welcome your offer to teach. I haven't decided to teach yet. Oh, okay. Uh, let me give you the tour of our school. Please come this way. Any questions for the kids or the teacher? You. What do you want to be when you grow up? Be a doctor so I can take care of my sick grandmother. Ah, oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Bye. Wow, the kids are so well behaved. Yes, just like me. So, when do you want to start? <laughs> What's happening down here? Dilip, what are you doing? What is this? This is too soft punishment for them. What did they do? He didn't do his homework. She talked back to the teacher. She ate in the classroom. This one, he was thinking of doing something very bad. Is this legal? This is punishment called murga. They have to sit like a rooster. How can you expect them to study if we cannot discipline them? That is not what murga is. Stop! Does that look like a rooster to you? Ha! Stop it! If it wasn't for the stick, you wouldn't have people like Dr. Sanjay Gupta on CNN. No, not anymore. I don't know why I'm here. Tell us, Sonny. <laughs> I am here on Beatrice's insistence. That makes me one of your candidates. <laughs> oh. yeah, well, so far, you're the winner, so. <laughs> <laughs> The prize is worth the pain of humiliation. <laughs> so, do you believe in, in love? <laughs> Last time somebody asked me that, he tried to slip a roofie in my drink. Are you joking? <laughs> yeah, I'm joking. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Bad joke. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. um, so. I was thinking I'd like to show you around the side of Mumbai. It's a lot more traditional. Would you like to come and meet me on Monday at 4? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, do you plan on driving home? Look, doctor, I'm not here for you to give me a lecture. I can drink two bottles and it's still dry. I never got into one accident. I have good connection in Nakka, Mumbai. <laughs> That's great, but you still didn't answer my question. I didn't? Mm -mm. Can you repeat the question, please? Are you close with your parents? I was very fond of my stepmother. 
She was beautiful. She kind of looked like you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what about friends? Where do you usually like to meet people? <laughs> people? You know, my car is out in the back. It's extremely dark. <laughs> I'm not driving with you. I didn't say we had to go anywhere. We're gonna do it right here. Oh. You're an idiot. <laughs> 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 Sonia? Sonia, you promised me you would try. It's already Friday. If you wanted me to find a husband, why the hell would you advertise me on the internet? Why not? My friend Anjana, she got her daughter married through the internet. Yeah, with the guy from the States. Yeah, so what? Our neighbor son Akash from the States, he married through IndianMatrimonial.com. A beautiful Indian girl. And now they're living happily ever after. Oh, you know what? I'll send her in for x-rays, see if she doesn't have a glass slipper shoved up her ass. How dare you talk to your mother like that? <laughs> Why do you deny me this happiness? <laughs> happiness? I'm the laughing stock of this town, this city, this world. Do you know what fools I've ended up with in the last five days? You should have asked me. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Nowadays, kids oh. never listen to their parents. Sonia, I thought, I thought you were different. Hey, Deva, hey, Bhagwan, I think I'm having a heart attack. Okay, spare me the theatricals. Okay? I am my own independent person. Yeah, I make my own decisions. I don't want any Indian husband. Okay. No Indian man. But you will see the guys already scheduled. No, I'm going to enjoy the last few days with my father. That's dad, that's dad, that's dad. Mom, call an ambulance. Oh, oh, I'm all right. I didn't have a heart attack, I just... I... Tico? I'm all right. It's these damn slippers. I give in. I give in. Namaste, Sonia. Namaste. So I hear you're a doctor. Yep. Excuse me? Are you and your son using this extra chair? Thank you. Thank you. Kya Um, my father is sick. I'm so sorry to hear that. It's like he got old behind my back, you know? He had a stroke. I'm sorry, aren't you a doctor? Yeah, but I'm not that kind of surgeon, so I can't help him. Well, being you helps him. I guess I'm a horrible daughter. Why do you say that about yourself? Um, well, to me, India is the life I could have had with my parents, but I didn't. Do you like them? Yeah, like anyone would. Well, I, I come here um, when no one's here, actually sing to myself. Don't you sing for a living? I don't always sing for other people. I also sing for myself. <laughs> so you bartend, you sing. Um, are you working on an album? Yes, it's recorded, and I'm just looking for a recording company, but uh, not Bollywood enough for the recording companies in India, so. Well, that's what I like about LA. 
I think you would too. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a future plan. What's holding you back? Some responsibilities. Like what? <laughs> You'll meet her. Her? No, Do you have a no. daughter? But I have an idea, though. Okay. Why don't we go in there and I'll uh, take you to meet her? Yeah? Okay. Okay. Sonia, this is Kurdish Marmanis. Hi. You play beautifully. <laughs> Do you want to be a musician like your uncle? Yeah. <laughs> She's shy. Yeah. She's pretty good. Yeah, she takes it very seriously. Yeah. Please come. You have a beautiful home. Uh, it's not my home, it's my brother's home. Okay. Um, She's your brother's daughter, right? Yes. She doesn't want to sing like you? I don't know if you noticed, but she doesn't, um, she doesn't talk. She was in the same car, car accident that killed her parents. Oh. She was only five, I think, then. She's doing all right now. Yeah. Better. Oh, she's like, she has you? <laughs> I guess you could see it like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because Dr. Nil is your doctor. He's a quack. The only reason I have to go see him is because he's an in law. He's the best cardiologist in Mumbai. Oh, the best And you will not in act how that you did last That says a lot night. for him, right? I wanted it last night. I was fine. Well, this is not good. I'll tell you that right now. Your blood work showed a total cholesterol of 295. And your blood pressure has increased since your last visit. Look, at your age, cholesterol medication is just not going to do it. You need to make some serious changes to your diet. Come on, Betty, you gotta take care of your papa. I told you he had a mask, okay? Ah, that's why we spent all those nights here late. So he could avoid eating mask biryani. And that was good biryani too. Pay attention, this is serious. Ah, Dr. Khanna, come in. How are you? Good to Patient see you. in room five is looking for a nurse. Ah, hey, here, meet my family. This is my brother-in-law, Mehta, and this is my beautiful niece, Sonia. Very nice to meet you. You know, this is Dr. Khanna. He's a visiting sergeant from UCLA, from Los Angeles. He comes here every summer with the, what is the group you belong to? A doctor, doctors without borders, right? I also have a family here, so I get to visit them while I work here. Ah, and you get to escape them, right? <laughs> ah. Are you married? Sorry. Uh, married to my work. Did you know Sonia is a sergeant too? Yeah, she works at Los Angeles, just like you. Wow. You know, we're gonna have to get, won't you guys talk? You guys probably have some doctor stuff to talk about. We don't want to get in the way. Come on, come on, Meta. Anna, nice meeting you. Okay. We'll be seeing you. I'm gonna do the testing now. We'll just start it out. You can do it. And you'll be very careful with us. I start. Ah, yeah, I will be careful. Dad is very funny. Yeah, he's quite a character. So, what kind of surgeon are you? It's a small field. I'm a laryngological surgeon. Ah. Yeah. I've never met an Indian laryngologist before. Well, you know, I gotta go, I gotta run. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sonia, what are you doing? Nothing. Sorry, nothing. Uh, Dad, are you walking regularly? <clears throat> I am now. Yeah. None of this. Let's just enjoy this. Woman, what's wrong with you? My daughter and I are just talking, okay? Sonia? 
Do you have anything to announce to your family? I, I have no clue what you're talking about. Sonia, this is not something you hide from your family. When were you going to tell us you met someone? I knew it. You're embarrassed of me. No, I'm not. But don't you think two people should have a chance to, like, get to know each other before they bring them to what? the family? Introduce themselves to a herd of cows you have for a family. Ma, I do not think that. Uh, what are you two talking about? A phone call. The doctor left for Sonia. Doctor Kamla called? Oh, really? I have some very good news for you. I called that the handsome surgeon from UCLA to take you out to that Punjabi place around the corner. I'll pick you up tomorrow night around... Uh, 8 o'clock. Why would you do that? Because I thought he was the one. What? What made you decide that? Well, he's uh, a doctor from Los Angeles, and he's a nice boy. Yeah, you know what? I could actually buy that off the shelf in America. Then why are you still single? I was being sarcastic. Sonia, Mirdi, you will not always be strong for yourself. You need a man in your life, a man to take care of you, a good man. Yeah. I think that it's enough if people just take care of themselves properly. I can't even have a signal. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, uh, I didn't mean to upset you. You know that, right? I know. I know I should take better care of myself, but at my age, it's, uh, it's a little hard. Hard for me too. If I've forgotten the protocol. I haven't been on a date for five years. It's refreshing. <laughs> um, you've chosen quite a speciality. Yeah, I was looking for a true challenge. Uh, something in its pioneering phase. Good evening. Would you like to sample some of our wines this evening? Red or white? White. Red, oh. <laughs> Red is fine. I have a wonderful selection for you. Is everything all right? Look, when I told you I haven't been on a date for five years, I wasn't lying. It's fine, really. <laughs> when your dad called me, I, I was pretty surprised. And then when I met you, after what your dad told me, I, I, I think, I think you're a good... Look, I don't know how to say this, but you know how it is when you devote your whole life into to some practice and then and, and that's where I am. And, and you know, I come to India every summer just to see my family. And then when I go back, I'm again the same. I don't want any relationships to interrupt that. You know, for me, the marriage is not same like most of the Indian men. And uh, I, I look at you and I feel that you're the same way. What, what are you getting at? This is a particularly delicious 
Bordeaux wine we have this season. Can we have some more time, please? Sure, of course. Thanks. Of course. Look, uh, my parents want me to marry a nice Indian woman, and, and even American, Indian American is fine. Wow. <sighs> You're proposing to a stranger. I thought I was desperate. It's the cultural sacrifice I'm expected to make. Uh, the, the marriage doesn't have to be... Real? Uh, no, the, you, you know, I, if, if you think about it, uh, we could live our own lives, uh, have our own finances, and we don't even have to live with each other if you don't want to. Our parents can live healthy ever after. If I marry, it'll be for love. Sonia, the deal is still on the table if you change your mind. Okay, Jack. Have you had enough curry masala and bindings for the next five years of your life? <sighs> I'll have to detox. Hey, I come bearing good news. What is it? I'm ordering you back to the hospital this weekend. What? You sound disappointed. No, I'm not. Sorry, I just... Why all of a sudden? case has been approved. The sponsor wants to move ahead as soon as possible. Okay, well, who's the patient? You will have access to her file soon. Jack. Sonia, I just want you to get back from India. I want you to relax until then, okay? Okay. How's he doing? Fine. He's doing fine. Good. Yeah. Just hang in there, okay? This surgery is going to reinvent you. <sighs> okay. Um, you know what? I gotta go. Can you just go ahead and forward the flight info? Already done. Thanks. Question. Yeah, what's up? You coming home with your Bollywood star? <laughs> no. Hey, Sonia. I don't know if you have another date Thursday night. But if you're free, you should stop by my house. I'm throwing a surprise party for Karishma. Call me. Kavi. Sonia, I'm glad I caught you. Yeah, Thursday night sounds great. Yes. Um, is it Krishma's birthday? No. So what's the cause for celebration? You'll see when you get there. Are you baiting me, Covey? Just want to surprise you. All right. I'll come prepared. <laughs> Are you going to tell me when you're leaving? Yeah. Uh, why don't we just leave that as a surprise, too? Should I be worried? Definitely not. It's at six. I can't wait to see you. Yeah, me too. Bye. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Please come in. Wow, you look mesmerizing. You look great too. Thank you. Um, I'm glad you came early. Well, you know, your party needs a woman's touch. Magical healer's touch. Magical healer's touch, yeah. I have some great news. Yeah? Me too. You first. You first. Mm -hmm. no. This is for you. <laughs> Rishma, there's a lot of balloons left in that room. Can you please take care of it? Uh, you come with me to the kitchen, please. Yes, okay. <laughs> Here, we can start with these cakes on those plates. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad you're here. Me too. Krishma really wanted you here. I, I didn't realize she'd grown so fond of me. Are you kidding? She's gonna write you a song, just wait. Way to ruin the surprise. <laughs> I mean, uh, she, she does that for everyone she loves. You know? she's, um, she's getting really good at it. Yeah? yeah. And why doesn't she play tonight? Um, tonight, I don't know, I just wanna have a good time with her friends. 
Covey. Do you want to tell me what this is all for now? I, I swear I was going to tell you earlier, but it's just that, you know, when something's good about to happen and you don't want to tell anyone and it, until it becomes good, you know? Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm celebrating so that Karishma has a chance to live her dream of singing again. <laughs> what? See, two years ago, I heard about larynx transplant. You know, it helps restore a person's voice, their own voice. So I started looking for sponsors, you know, non-profit companies, and I found one. They were ready to sponsor me as long as I could get Karishma a larynx. So I put her in a hospital on a waiting list in Los Angeles, and uh, I got the phone call yesterday. Karishma is next in line to get a larynx. One just came in from the hospital. I, I, you, you, I thought you'd be surprised. You look... I can't believe this is happening. I, I know. It's, it's just overwhelming. I mean, she's going to be in good hands. Um, believe me, you can't be more concerned about her than I am. Um, a team of four international doctors are going to be running the surgery. Uh, yeah. Sonia, are you, are you sick? No. Are, are you sure? No, Kavi. I mean, you shouldn't let Krishma get the surgery. What? Why? Have you really done your research? Do you understand what you're walking into? I've been working on this for two years, and I know everything about it. It's an extremely difficult procedure, and most of the time it fails, and it's expensive. You don't think I've thought about everything you're describing? You could save the money that you're using for a college education. Sonia, I want a chance for Karishma to get her voice back, Sonia. Don't you understand that? I'm the leading surgeon on her surgery. I'm the leading otolaryngologist on the team I found out this morning. Is that why you've not been telling me what kind of surgeon you are? No. I had no idea about Karishma until today, and now tonight... Are you sure? It's Karishma, Kavi. I was gonna tell you tonight too, and then fly the two of you out to LA after the surgery. Do you know that there have only been four successful laryngeal transplants performed? Four in the whole world. It's an extremely rare procedure, and most of the time it fails. I don't understand why would you become this kind of surgeon if you don't believe in your own practice? Do you not understand what kind of position this puts me in. I know, and I'm sorry. Do you think I actually chose this? No, but you have a choice of not putting Karishma through more suffering. It's not like it has any lethal risks on it. If it did, I wouldn't do it. She'll be even more crushed than she already has been. I, I, don't, I don't understand why you act like you failed. Because you haven't failed. Look. If you think that just because I'm going to be in Los Angeles, we have to continue this if we didn't want to, obviously you don't. Don't think I'll be taking care of you in LA. <laughs> we were fine before you, and we'll be fine after you, Sonia. <sighs> okay. Where are you going? I thought if not for Krishna, at least you stay for me. That's where you're from. Sonia. You don't call me once you get there. I will. I will. Don't, don't cry. <laughs> oh. Okay. I'm gonna miss you too. It's all right. You're gonna go back soon. I will. I will. Yeah. God bless you. See you guys. Right. Thank you. Oh. Um, I know. I know. I know. We're gonna be okay. Take care of him. You'll be fine. <laughs>
Hey, kiddo. You okay? Yes. You know, it's perfectly normal to feel nervous. Come on, is something bothering you? No. Look, I want you to remember. I you know. know. Watch out for the damaged tissue on her larynx. Do your best. This is what you've worked for. Authorize this press conference. The sponsor insisted. It is such a pleasure to see you all. Are you nervous? I have full faith in our medical team. This is your first time leading a larynx transplant. How confident are you that it'll be successful? Oh. Sonia is the most qualified surgeon in the United States, and she will do the best that she can. Well, what are the risks? You know, five years ago, Karishma would not even have been a candidate for this kind of transplant due to the immunosuppressive therapy required to keep the body from rejecting the organ. But a lot of things have changed just in the last two years. And now the post-surgical medicines are less disagreeable. Krishna, sweetheart, um, doctors did their best. I'm really sorry. Just got your medicine, okay? Just have it. 
and then meet me outside. We're gonna go for a walk. What? Beautiful. Who gave you this book? Hello? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Are you ready? Last time I dove, it was a disaster. I ended up a mile away from the boat and broken away from the group. Yeah, well, you went without the only friends you have. Hmm. <laughs> I made another one. What? A friend. Indian woman. An American. Carrie Underwood. Oh, Beatrice. She's crazy, but... Interestingly, I like. Are there any other flings I need to know about? He mirrors me. He? They're capable of making my own decisions, and I'm about to make a very big one. Oh, Sony, I'm so happy for you. Well, my parents deserve to die in peace. I'm gonna marry Rick. Rick? You never told me about Rick. He doesn't even know. So, tell me more about this Rick guy. You'll meet him. <laughs> He's stuck up like me. All right, let's do this. The aquatic life is waiting for us. <laughs> if you say so. I would say I'm ready. But... I'm not. You are. We're gonna be doing this, so... Okay, well... Can we have cocktails after? Yeah, we can. How about I sit? Yeah. Welcome back. I finished Kirishma's report. Good. So I'm gonna get back to my regular patients. Sonia, you never gave me the chance to say, well done. Good to see you, Sonia. Hi. Let me pass. 
Thank you. Red. Red. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's get this over with. Sure. Good afternoon, madam. Need a food meal too? No. I don't want to be nosy, but uh, you're doing the right thing. If I was that smart, I'd still have the farm and the cattle. <laughs> I'll go get you some bread. We were fine before you. I will be fine after you, Sonia. Hello? Hey, thank God you answered the phone. Who's this? It's Beatrice. Beatrice, how's Mumbai? I, I left, I just came to LA for the weekend. Look, I appreciate you trying to help, but Sonia's made it clear that she doesn't want to see me again. Look, I'm not trying to lecture you or her. I just wanted to see Karishma while I'm here. I have a get well gift for her. Beatrice, I know what you're trying to do. Then you better meet me right now, okay? Trust me on this one, otherwise you're gonna regret it. And bring Karishma. <sighs> All right, can you please text me the address? Okay, bye. I dreamed of the day I would put this jewelry on you. You know, this is the very set my mother put on me. It's really pretty. <clears throat> Yo, you're not supposed to be in here, I told you. I can see my own daughter whenever I want to. How are you feeling, Dad? Fine, Sonia. I just, I just want to have a word with you. Hey, make it quick, okay? I will. I will. How was your flight? Did you take your pills? Sonia Beta, I, uh, I want to discuss something very important with you. Daddy, I already told you his family doesn't care that we signed a prenup. Oh, I don't give a shit about that. Dad. <laughs> Betty, remember when you first told me that you uh, wanted to become a doctor? Oh, seriously, Dad, come on, we can talk about this later. I always it's... knew that you would become a fine doctor in India all the same. I never wanted to become a doctor here, so it doesn't... That's not matter. the point. The point is... You're free to go. Pity. I brought you into this world so that you can experience it. Live it. Do you understand that? You just took the biggest worry out of my heart. You look beautiful. Thanks, Dad. Krishna Devta, Bhyo Namha Kula Devta, Bhyo Namha Sthana Devta. You take longer than being here. I'll be there, I'll be there. Sarvebhyo devebhyo namo namaha Eta vishnu rupena vada pooja namma Vishtaro vishtaro vishtaraha I don't have time for a formal introduction. Beatrice? Yeah, listen, we gotta stop Sonia. She's making a huge mistake. I'm happy that she finally found the person she loves. No, she's in love with Kaveh. Who's Kaveh? This is a compromise she's making. Hey, Beatrice, good to see you. We got a dress? Yes.
had a deal. Whose wedding is this anyway? 